Defense. That's kind of kind of what the conference is known for. What comes to your mind, and uh, what kind of challenges does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, you know, the SEC has been in, been around for a very long time. You know, they're known for their, their production that they have in football. So, you know, um, they have a lot of guys on the defensive front that are able to move around. A lot of athleticism in their secondary, and also a lot of uh, athleticism in their secondary in their interior. So, you know, we're going to have to go out there and play Kansas. Is that a challenge that you embrace? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, I, I'm somebody who wants to be able to play the best in order to be the best. So, I feel like they're a pretty good opponent, and I'm glad that we're able to go out there and be able to play a game against them. Jalen, talk about the culture of Kansas football. Obviously, you guys have come in and completely changed the mindset around Kansas football. College game days come to town. You guys have been ranked in the top 25. Talk about that culture and how much does this AutoZone Liberty Bowl mean to you guys as players? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot to us. I mean, we got the chance to be able to have these extra 15 days of practice, which means a lot for us going, you know, going forward in the future for this program because it's something that we haven't been able to do in I don't know how long. So, uh, you know, first off, that's that's first off. But you know, being able to go into spring ball with those extra practices means that we had a lot of young guys who were able to get reps during this during this time right now, so that they're ahead of the game when we get to spring ball. What does it mean to y'all to be that to be that team that changes the culture and changes the program for future Kansas football to come? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. Uh, but you know. Well, we're still working. You know, this is still the ground low for what we want to do. We have a higher expectation next season, so we're going to try to end this year off with a bang and, you know, go into the offseason with that mentality. A win on Wednesday would mean what for you and for the program? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's definitely a very big step in for us. I feel like it will definitely give us a boost going into the future because um, last year we, we wanted to come in the season with a bang, and I feel like we did a good job of doing that uh, going into this year, so now we want to be able to end the season off with that. What does it mean to you and your team to get Candace back in the bowl games after all these years? You say what does it mean to me? What you and your team to, to, be, to get Candace back in the bowl games? I mean, yeah, like I said, it means a lot to us because it means it's a big stepping stone for us. I mean, it's something that we weren't, that we haven't been able to accomplish as a program in so long. So the fact that we were able to do this with this program and this team that we have right now means a lot to us. What's the bowl experience been for you so far? Has it been fun? I know there's been some difficulties with, with the weather and everything and the, and the water situation. Yeah, it definitely been fun. I mean, to be able to spend, you know, multiple days with all these guys that, you know, I go into practice with every single day during the season. And, you know, the fact that all the work that we've been putting in during the offseason, during this season, is finally paying off to where we're able to enjoy this time with each other in a different city right before our last game of the year means a lot to us. Talk about uh, playing in the Talk about playing in the Big 12. How does that prepare you guys for the postseason? Yeah, I mean, I feel like in the Big 12, there, there's a lot of air raid offenses. I mean, they have an ability to be able to throw the ball, throw the ball all around. So the fact that us, as we have the ability to be able to do that and also run, it just shows that we're, we're able to be multiple in that offensive style. One more question I have for you. Obviously, you mentioned the air raid. Talk about what you know of the air raid and what you know of Mike Leach, the, the late great coach of Mississippi State. Yeah, I mean, so uh, during my recruiting process, he was at Washington State, and uh, I heard a lot about Gordon, the quarterback that day. He was his quarterback that had a whole bunch of yards. Uh, to be able to see them have that many attempts a game is something that every quarterback just dreams of having. So to be able to see the way that he was able to get receivers open and be able to just run run, run the air raid offense like he did, it just shows how, how much of a, a good coach he was. I lied. I got one more question for you. Obviously, you guys are in Memphis, and a lot of great history here. You know, the barbecue. Have you had a chance to have good Memphis barbecue? Yet? I have not had the chance to have barbecue. Yet. Is it on the docket? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Where are you guys gonna eat? Not sure yet. Okay. Not okay. sure yet. Well, welcome to Memphis. We're happy to have you guys. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you.